Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. I am Iggy here, and uh, I've been covering topics such as stocks, finance, CPF, and everything related to growing your wealth. I am down with a flu, so I will be using another voice that's clearer and less muffled. Hope you are okay with that. In this video, I am going to share with you the latest updates on SAT's dividends and what you can expect as an investor. The Investing Iguana is featured and ranked 8th in the 2023 Influential Tigers by Tiger Brokers with over 800,000 reads. I've covered over 500 videos and over 250,000 watch hours as of September 2024. I also focus on topics related to the regional economy. Let's get into it. The Current Situation the current situation regarding SATs dividends has raised concerns among investors, including myself. Historically, SATs has maintained a dividend payout ratio of 70% to 80%, but the pandemic has significantly impacted the aviation sector, forcing the company to adapt and make substantial changes. One major move was the acquisition of WFS, which altered SATs' financial structure and necessitated a rebalancing of priorities. Now, SATs must focus on three key areas. Firstly, reducing debt incurred from the WFS acquisition, which is a significant financial burden. Secondly, the company needs to allocate funds for business growth as the aviation sector recovers and expands. This investment is crucial for SATs to capitalize on emerging opportunities. Lastly, SATs aims to reward its shareholders with dividends, but must do so sustainably ensuring the company's financial stability and long-term success. This delicate balancing act has led to adjustments in the dividend payout ratio, causing concern among investors like myself. It's essential to understand that SAT's revised approach to dividends is a strategic response to the pandemic's impact and the company's evolving financial landscape. By prioritizing debt reduction, business growth, and sustainable dividend distribution, SAT's aims to navigate the current challenges and position itself for future success. As an investor, it's crucial to consider these factors and the company's long-term potential when assessing the impact of changes in dividend payouts. What this means for investors. The shift in SAT's dividend strategy has significant implications for investors, particularly those anticipating a swift return to pre-pandemic dividend levels. It's essential to reassess expectations as the company is adopting a more cautious and gradual approach. SATs intends to incrementally increase dividend payouts as their profitability enhances rather than rushing to restore pre-pandemic levels. This measured approach ensures the company's financial stability and growth, allowing them to strike a balance between rewarding shareholders and investing in their future. As an investor, it's crucial to understand that SAT's revised dividend strategy is a strategic response to the evolving aviation landscape and the company's growth aspirations. By prioritizing sustainable dividend growth, SAT's aims to deliver long-term value to shareholders rather than focusing on short-term gains. This approach may require patience and a shift in expectations, but it's essential to recognize that the company's cautious and gradual dividend increases are a sign of prudent financial management and a commitment to future success. The Recovery Path The recovery path of SATs can be likened to a person recuperating from a major surgery where patience and gradual progress are essential. Just as a patient needs time to heal and build strength before resuming strenuous activities, SATs is taking a similar approach with its finances. The company is making steady progress with encouraging signs emerging across various aspects of its business. Air travel is gradually increasing. Their food solution segment is experiencing growth and the integration of WFS is advancing positively. However, SATs is exercising prudence and caution, recognizing that a hasty return to pre-pandemic dividend levels would be premature. Instead, they are focusing on ensuring that any dividend increases are sustainable and aligned with their financial strength. This measured approach may mean a slower pace of recovery, but it is a responsible and forward-thinking strategy that prioritizes long-term stability and success. By allowing themselves time to heal and build strength, SATS is laying the groundwork for a robust and resilient financial future. My Analysis as someone who has been closely observing SATs for an extended period, my analysis is that the company's cautious approach is, in fact, a positive development for long-term investors. While it's true that the coveted 70-80% payout ratios may not be imminent, SATs is instead concentrating on laying a robust foundation for future growth. This shift in focus is a strategic move that prioritizes stability and prudence over short-term gains. When considering the trade-offs, it's essential to ask oneself, would you rather invest in a company that distributes high dividends but jeopardizes its financial stability or one that methodically builds a sustainable business capable of supporting steady dividend growth over the long haul? In my opinion, the latter option is unequivocally preferable. 
By prioritizing a strong foundation, Asats is creating a solid base that will enable the company to thrive in the years to come, ultimately benefiting long-term investors who value sustainable growth and stability. This approach may require patience, but it's a prudent strategy that will yield dividends in the long run. Investment Strategy as an investor in SATs, it's essential to adopt a patient and informed approach. If you're in it for the long haul, rest assured that the aviation sector's recovery is gaining traction, and SATs is strategically positioned to capitalize on this upswing. Their food solutions business is experiencing growth, and the acquisition of WFS has expanded their reach globally, providing a solid foundation for future success. For new investors considering SATs, it's crucial to understand that the company is in a period of transition. The narrative around dividends has evolved, and it's essential to recognize that the focus has shifted from prioritizing quick returns to emphasizing sustainable growth. This shift in strategy may require adjustment in expectations, but it's a prudent move that will ultimately benefit the company and its shareholders in the long run. By understanding the company's transformation and focusing on the potential for sustainable growth, investors can make informed decisions and navigate the evolving landscape with confidence. Future Outlook I remain optimistic about SAT's long-term prospects. The company has strong fundamentals and operates in a growing sector. As they execute their strategy and improve profitability, dividend payments should increase. It's not a matter of if, but when. Remember, successful investing isn't just about chasing high yields. It's about finding companies with solid business models that can deliver sustainable returns over time. SATS fits this profile even if we need to be patient for now. If you guys enjoyed this video, then you're going to love my analysis of SIA's stock takeoff or turbulence ahead. It's a perfect companion piece to understand the broader aviation sector recovery in Singapore. Click the link above to watch it next.